Wisdom in the whip. Wisdom in the whip. Wisdom in the whip. This is wisdom in the whip. Why wisdom in the whip? Because I got a lot of drive, a bunch of ambition. See, I ain't got a lie. Wisdom in the whip. Wisdom in the whip. Wisdom in the whip. This is wisdom in the whip. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Ariel. And welcome back to another episode of Wisdom in the Whip. And <clears throat> I missed two days worth of uploads. So I broke my little consistency streak. Which I broke my consistency streak based on a lot of different factors. Things that I could actually put in place to help me be better at making these videos, which I didn't do, right? I could set an alarm every day, nine o'clock in the morning, make a video, right? I could set three alarms, one at nine, one at 9 p.m., one at 3 p.m., right? So if I don't make the video at nine, cool, I can make the video at three. If I don't make the video at three, I can make the video at nine p.m., right? There's a lot of different things you can do to keep yourself consistent and a lot of people rather make excuses and then actually do what's going to help them be consistent and i'm not going to make an excuse i did not do what i was supposed to do i got caught up in other things and it did not get done so that's on me 100 percent. but like i said i'm going to implement some different strategies to help me create more videos and more uploads right so i could have just recorded like seven videos in one day and then upload them every day and I wouldn't have to make a video every day. I can make videos once a week, make seven videos every Monday and then I'm good, right? That's another strategy. So anyways, life is about strategies, man. Most people aren't gonna be successful because they don't have the strategies. They don't have the systems. They don't have the method, right? There's a method to the madness. There's a method to the madness. There's a method to the madness, right? Madness is not just an act or a thought or a series of events that are, you know, unnormal to the public or to just the person in general. So when you hear things like there's a method to the madness, that means there is a reasoning, there is a methodology, there is practical steps, there is things put in place to help them in their journey to accomplishing this madness, right? The evil genius is evil, but he's still a genius. That means he's smart. That means the way he goes about doing his evil is compelling, is very intriguing, right? It's not normal. It makes you go, wow, I can't believe he thought of that to do that, right? I would never think of something like that. That's what it does. That's what it makes you feel like when the evil genius, you know, plans come to fruition. So there's a method to the madness, man. There's science behind it. What they say? Genius leaves clues. Genius leaves clues. So if you want to be a genius, watch the genius at work because he's going to leave clues. He's going to leave a method. He's going to leave a plan. He's going to leave action steps. He's going to have a strategy. He's going to have tools and resources and tips. But if you don't pay attention, you're going to miss all the tools. You're going to miss all the resources. You're going to miss all the tips. You're going to miss all the strategies. You're going to miss the plan. You're going to miss the action steps. So genius leaves clues. Pay attention to the clues. Use the clues to your advantage. All right. So today's video is about, I'm starting a new series. It's probably going to be a 10 part series. It's going to be 10 reasons why you won't be successful, right? 10 reasons why you won't be successful. And I'm doing this series because as I'm growing, as I'm learning, as I'm developing, as I'm watching others around me, I start to notice little things, right? And some of the things I notice are very useful learning lessons, right? They're very useful at teaching life lessons. So we want to take these viral videos, we want to take these situations, we want to take these topics, and we want to extract the lessons from them, we want to extract the wisdom from them, we want to extract the reasoning behind them, right? Because if we can extract it, then we don't have to make the same mistake that they're making, and then we can jet boost our success, right? We can give our success a good head of steam, because we're not going to make the mistakes that everyone else is making, we're not going to take that left, that right turn that everybody is taking, and we're going to learn from the failures, learn from the mistakes, learn from the wrongdoings, learn from the backsliding from 
others because if you learn from others, you don't have to go through it yourself. If you learn from others, you don't have to take that pain. If you learn from others, then you can avoid the traps. You can avoid the failures. You can avoid the setbacks. You can avoid the mistakes. And ain't that what life is about? Avoiding the mistakes, avoiding the setbacks, avoiding the failures, right? So this is not going to be in any specific order. It's not going to be the most... Um, this is not going to be like, this is the number one reason why you won't be successful. No, these are a bunch of reasons and there's a bunch more. There's a whole bunch more, right? But right now we're just going to focus on this one. And for this reason, you will not be successful. Not you specifically, maybe you specifically, but I'm talking about the world in general, right? The people. And this is one reason I see why people won't be successful is because their environment, right? An environment is a super, super important part of growth, right? And environment is so important. I even talked about it in my book, The Student Success Mindset. I have a chapter on your environment and how to overcome your environment, right? Let me see where I put it real quick before I go into this video. Uh, I like to go back into my book and just to see what I talked about. I think it's pretty cool. So, <laughs> all right, we got the introduction, my limitation, starting point, you start to mind, gratitude, extra character development, the other thing. Then we got education, five ways activity, to inventory of your life. We got to start by start by changing what you control through success, why power of you. Okay, so I talked about your environment, right? And I put it in the chapter of your circle of influence. Your circle of influence, circle of influence, right? Because your environment is a huge factor in your circle of influence. You are who you hang with. You are who you hang with, right? You are are who you hang with, right? Birds of a feather flock together, right? Your net worth will be defined by your network. Your net worth, how much you're worth, are you worth a million, 10 million, a billion, will be decided by your network. Who do you know? Are they making millions? Are they making hundred thousands? Are they making billions, right? So who do you know and what do your friends do? Why? Because you're the sum total of your friends. Because if you have five broke friends, you're going to be the sixth both broke friend. If you have five rich friends, you're going to be the sixth rich friend, right? Now, who do you know? Who is in your network? If you're not hanging with no one and all you have is yourself, it's going to be even harder for you because you don't have an average. You don't have nowhere to grow. You don't have nobody to learn from. You don't have nobody to teach. You should always want to be in the middle. You should want to be teaching someone and you should also want to be learning from someone else. The more you learn, the more you earn. The more you teach, the more you reach, right? The more people you teach, the more reach you have, the more influence you have. So if your five friends are getting C's, you're going to be the sixth friend to get C's. If your five friends are getting A's, you're going to be the sixth person to get A's. If five of your friends are trying to be entrepreneurs, you're going to be the sixth entrepreneur. Because you're always going to have motivation. You're always going to have a different perspective. You're always going to have someone you can reach out to and ask them, what do you think about this? What would you do in this situation? How would you do this? Why would you do this? What do you think are the best next steps to take? What do you think are the best practices for the situation? And all your five friends are going to come together and you're going to talk about it. You're going to share brain power. You're going to have that synergy going throughout the group to help boost everybody, to help encourage everybody. If you wake up to a five person group chat and everybody is sending positive encouragement every morning, you're going to wake up and have better mornings than everyone else because your group chat, your friends list, your network is working for you and working to your best benefit. So it's going to keep you motivated. When you want to slow down, you're going to look at your friends and be like, man, I got to speed up because he's not slowing down. So you <clears throat> The one reason why you won't be successful is because you hang out with the wrong crowd. You hang out with the wrong people. It's your boy, Ariel.
Thank you guys for watching. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. I totally appreciate it. And share this video with a family member or a friend. Share this page with a family member or a friend as well. And watch us grow. Peace.